We are here with Andretti Autosports driver Carlos Munoz in a pre-race interview for the 40th edition of the Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach. Welcome aboard. Uh, thank you for, for having me here. Uh, I've noticed that over the last two seasons in Indy Lights, uh, California has been pretty good to you with two wins at Auto Club Speedway and a first and a fifth at Long Beach. Uh, in 2013, you qualified P1 at Long Beach and uh, also finished the race, uh, winning the race. Um, is there something about the track that benefits your driving style and sensibilities? Um, yeah, last, last year was a, was a great weekend, was a perfect weekend. I was, I was first in all the sessions. Um, the truth is, like, it's, it's, it's a hard track, it's, it's a difficult track. Uh, it was my second year there. Uh, first year I struggled a little bit to get, to get up the speed, especially in the race, but I always love, love this track. Um, it's, it's, I like in general, um, Inside and outside the track, I, I love, I love the, like the ambience of the fans and everything. And I think it gave me a little bit more confidence to, to start the weekend. You know, knowing I won last year and I was really fast, also in the lights. So it gave me a little bit more confidence. More, it's gonna give me more confidence for sure. Um, Andretti Autosport has moved from Chevy Power to Honda Power. Given your brief and successful exposure to IndyCar last year, do you see any difference in the handling of the DW12 between the two power plants? The truth is, I never had the opportunity, like a really good opportunity to to feel the, the like the Chevy the Chevy engine, you know. So it's hard for me to compare compare uh, which difference there are between 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 them um you know Honda has done a great job this year i was they have a new and yes and twin turbo and for this year it's been uh, really good so far and uh, we're showing some pieces book that is they are really strong um but when we are rolling when we're really gonna see how how, how the engines are is gonna be in indianapolis you know like there is there is we're gonna see how much is the difference or how 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 good we are you know because last year Honda was really good also in the street circuit we can ask if they won the championship they were they were really strong so I think right now they still we still really strong on circuit but we're gonna see in the over a number of Colombians are now looking at the United States and IndyCar as a vehicle to the top levels of pro open wheel racing how does racing in Colombia prepare you for racing here in the United States? Uh, all the Colombians were in IndyCar. We took the European school uh, in Colombia. Um, we raced there when, when we were young. Then hard. Colombia doesn't prepare a lot of drivers. You know, it gives you the basis. If you want to really to learn, you, you, you have to come over here to America to race. Because I think it is a really good projection. You know, you start in year 2000, then you go to Star Malta. And in the last and in the car, so I think it's really it's a really good progression you're gonna and if you win in each of the championship you you're gonna move up because you have the support of the the, the prices the, in the end of the year that you don't have in Europe. So so you can choose whatever you want to score. I choose I chose the European one. Um it helped me a lot, you know, uh the driver I'm I'm in right now because, you know, I was in a really I raced in a Pretty competitive championship in Europe in general. Also, the Indy Lights gave me um, a lot, of, especially all the ba all, all the bases I need to have because here in America the racing is totally different from what I was used to in Europe. So Indy Lights, I think, is a really good school, especially in Novos. You know, in Novos is it give you what you need to do, um, what what have to, you know to give you a, a mind what what Indy is gonna be. So I think Italy helped me a lot. Okay, so I, I guess what made you decide uh, to race in America as opposed to racing in Europe? Because I know you had some background with Europe. Yeah, like what? It, why? Why? Why I race here is only because I want to be a race, a professional race car driver. You know, uh, in in open wheel racing. In Europe was really hard. You know, Formula One was really hard if you don't have the a big support behind you, a really big sponsor behind you, it was not possible to get in, uh, you know, uh, it's a, it, and also there's a big difference between top teams and small teams in Formula 1, so, so it's okay, they give us last shot in, in, in America, 
has to be a person of respect to ever. And it turned out great, you know. Here is the, the racing is awesome. I, I really love how I understand more the racing because when I was in Europe, everyone say, I also I thought that, you know, like, uh, you know, well, it's easy it's just to have a good car, a good team, and they're going to win it easily, you know, but it's really hard. The ovals is not in the car. It's a lot of driver. It's, it's, it's hard. So, so yeah, I wanted to, to be a race car driver in America. There's the opportunities. Um, and I had the opportunity. There is a lot of small sponsors. So um, that's why I came here. And I'm really happy with the decision. I just wanted to stay for many years here. Um, how has racing under the Andretti Autosport banner changed your perception of what you're capable of achieving? Um, yeah, I think they give me, it helps me a lot, you know, so, um, when, when you are in the light, the English program and the IndyCar program are really close from each other, you know, the drivers also we talk a lot from, with each other, uh, we can have some, we can have a look in the data of IndyCar, it's no problem. So that helps me. That helps a lot, you know. And when you are in life, uh, like if you want to step up, it, it help help you a lot because you have more knowledge of it. Uh, especially when you are in a big team, uh, that gives me, especially gives me the opportunity to race, to be racing in the life with them all the year plus the five hundred. So. So not a lot of teams give you this, this opportunity um, to race with. So. It's a great part of my third year with them, and I'm really happy with the team. You know, Michael has been helping me a lot, especially this year, the first year in the life, so it's a, it's a great team. Do you plan to do any Tudor United Sports Car Championship prototype racing in 2014? No, 2014. Uh, I think I would love, in, the 20, in the 2015, and would love to, to compete in the, in the Daytona 24 Hours. It's one of of the race I wanted to compete in the future as well as the the Mass twenty four hours. It's one of the two races before I don't know, maybe if my career ends up I would love to race them. Are you getting a fair amount of press in Colombia? Yeah, a lot uh, especially um, because of Montoya, you know. Uh, you have to we have to be straight and direct. Like the truth is only because of Colombia, of Juan Pablo. Like we have, we, also because of me, no? Because of, well, I, I, I did second of the five hundred, so it was a big boom for Colombia. But this year, it has grown up a lot. You can see in St. Petersburg there was a lot of Colombian people there. He was, it seems I was feeling like a home, you know. So all because there is four Colombians driving right now, so we are getting a lot of, of attention in Colombia. Uh, in fact, you mentioned Juan Pablo Montoya. Uh, have you had a chance to sit down and chat with him since, uh, I guess, the two of you are now in the IndyCar series? Yeah, we have a good relation. He lives in Miami. Um, we sometimes, um, we, we do go car together. Uh, um, last year, he, he called me before the race to give me some tips. Um, in Colombia, um, Last year in November, with he, he organized a, a go kart race for for his uh, for his foundation. So uh, we have a good relation with chat when when we can. Um, but of course, when we're when we are a track, uh, we are rivals. So, so, so we have a good relation. Well, thank you, Carlos. I wish you uh, the best in Long Beach. Uh, after all, you've uh, done well here in California. There's no reason why you can't keep uh, that continuing, and. Um, yeah, we'll see you there at the track. No, thank you very much. Um, yeah, there's no reason why I should not continue. <laughs> but thank you for having me here, okay? Yes, and uh, have a good time down there. Good luck. Right, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.